Welcome to Academy of Whole Learning. Thank you for taking time to learn more about us via this picture tour. Academy of Whole Learning is a private, nonprofit K-12 school for students with autism and individual learning needs. Approximately 60% of our students have a primary diagnosis of ASD, with others having diagnoses of ADHD, ADD, anxiety, sensory processing, cognitive delays, etc. Here you see a photo of the exterior of our building and many of the students and staff. Our school hours are 8.15 a.m. to 3 p.m. daily, but we do offer before and after school opportunities for our students that allows a child to come in as early as 7 a.m. and stay until 5 p.m. We offer clubs for students every day of the week. These clubs can range from Lego Robotics, Choir, and Chess, to Gaming, Virtual Reality, and Gardening Club. I'll also talk about our sports teams a little bit later. So as you enter our building, you'll be greeted at the front desk. The photo in the right shows one of our high schoolers working the coffee and hot chocolate cart. This is available for parents and students to start out their day. It's also a part of our Grad Ready program where students learn valuable work skills. Academy of Whole Learning was started in 2003, so we've been around for over 17 years. We were started by a family who has a daughter with autism, and they felt at that time that she was not receiving the necessary services within the public schools. They decided to form this school and initially began with six students. We are still a small school with a little over 70 students. Academy of Whole Learning is an accredited school. We have third parties come in regularly to evaluate our educational practices as well as how we run the nonprofit side of our business. So, what differentiates us from other schools? Our small class sizes, holistic approach, and ability to individualize for each child. Each of our classrooms have between seven and nine students. Within our lower and middle school, there is a special education teacher and registered behavior therapist. So the ratios are about four students to one adult. Given these ratios, we are able to individualize for each child and implement accommodations in order for them to be successful. No student here will fall through the cracks. Finally, we truly allow for a holistic approach to education. Beyond academics, we are offering our students direct instruction with regulation, social skills, executive functioning, and life skills. Here is a picture of our lower school and middle school wing. In these classrooms, you will have students in grades K through 8. In developing classrooms, we do not solely go by a student's current academic grade or age. We create classrooms of similar academic and social abilities. So for instance, you may have a classroom of 4th and 5th graders together. For our academics, we conduct three rotations in order to individualize for each child and meet them at their level. Each rotation has two to three students, and the instruction is delivered at the level that they are at. The first rotation is direct instruction of that day's lesson from the special education teacher. The second rotation is with the registered behavior therapist. Here, students are directly taught regulation skills, social skills, executive functioning skills, and life skills. The final rotation is more independent. We are a Google school and each child is issued a Chromebook. These laptops are preloaded with software and applications related to what the student is learning. And although it is an independent rotation, our staff has access to monitor progress. Also, the programs can be accessed from home for extended learning. This is one of our lower school classrooms, specifically a primary classroom. Students in this classroom are normally in kindergarten through third grade. As you can see in the picture on the right, our classrooms are set up untraditionally and that there are not individual desks. They are set up with tables to accommodate our rotation structure. We utilize many visual cues and provide accommodations for all students. Examples of this may be covering our lights, providing noise canceling headphones, different seating options, or fidgets. With classrooms between seven and nine students, 
we have an ability to really know each child and provide the accommodations for their success. Here is another example of a lower school classroom. Students always start their day with a morning meeting. Many of our students may be adverse to change, so we make them aware of any changes in the schedule and help them through that. The picture on the right shows a dedicated sensory area that we have in each classroom. We use the zones of regulation model and directly teach self-regulation and coping skills within our classroom. We like our students to advocate for themselves and these sensory areas within each room allow for a student to take a five minute break to re-regulate. The expectation is to set a timer and after five minutes, they will return to the learning group. Rather than a student leaving the classroom to re-regulate, we are able to keep children within the learning environment, which has proven successful. Overall, we provide a very structured environment. We spend the first four to six weeks deliberately going through the structure and expectations with our students, and by doing this, our students are better prepared for success the remainder of the year. These pictures are from a middle school classroom. Our middle school is typically for 7th and 8th graders. From the picture on the left, you can see our rotation structure. The closest table shows direct instruction from the special education teacher. The far table shows students working with a registered behavior therapist. And the table in the middle shows the independent rotation with students working on their Chromebooks. Within the middle school, students begin rotating to one or two additional classrooms for instruction with other teachers. All students will receive instruction from separate teachers for specialist programs such as music, drama, art, and physical education. Also, during middle school, we start having discussions with students and families about long-term goals. Many of these discussions will help us individualize a path for the child as they enter high school. Physical activity is very important for our students' well-being. Within our lower and middle school classrooms, there are three opportunities for physical activity during the course of the day. First, two classrooms at a time start out their morning in our gym, being led through 15 minutes of exercises to get their bodies ready for the day. Then, students also have a 30-minute outdoor gym or recess each day. We structure this 30 minutes with an all-inclusive game during the first 20 minutes and then allow students to play on the playground or in the field for the remaining 10 minutes. Our school is located in a very quiet residential area and we have ample green space for many activities. Finally, students have a physical education class each day. Here is our high school level wing. At this level, students take six courses per day. All students learn similar subjects, but the difference is the academic rigor. We have some students that will go off to two to four year colleges after graduation, so we need to prepare them to meet the requirements for graduation and to prepare for entrance exams. We have students that might end up attending community and trade colleges, so we need to prepare them for that as well. And we also have students whose goal after graduation is living independently and potentially getting a job. Again, classrooms are created according to academic and social ability. The faculty within our high school classrooms are specialists in science, math, language arts, social studies, and the specialist programs we offer. The courses we offer can be taken at an honors level, a core or grade level, or at a foundations or essentials level. The picture on the left shows students within our science lab. The picture on the right shows one of our graduates. We are so proud of the students that we have helped prepare for life outside our school's walls. Our work-based learning and grad-ready program allows students to learn the skills necessary for an independent and fulfilling life. Through initial assessments, students develop goals to be worked on at school and at home. Curriculum is created to match individual needs. Students then receive direct instruction through vocational practice, community participation, and life and job activities. At Academy of Whole Learning, we offer specialist programs such as drama, music, art, and world languages. 
These programs allow students to creative problem solve, increase social skills, and release stress through creative means. The picture on the left shows our drama and music room. The picture on the right shows our art room. As you can see from the photo, we have a very large gym that can be separated into two areas by a curtain divider. The gym is utilized for physical education, the morning 15 minutes of exercise, before and after school activities, and in cases where outdoor gym or recess is canceled due to inclement weather. We also use our gym to practice for many athletics we participate in through the Special Olympics. In the fall, we offer flag football and bowling, in the winter, we participate in basketball and floor hockey, and in the spring, we offer track and field. We have a partnership with Breck High School, which brings their students over to our facility to work within our classrooms and assist with academic and social skills. They also participate on our unified sports teams, so it's our students and their students on teams together. These photos show Motivate. Each morning, two classrooms at a time are led through 15 minutes of exercise to get every student's body ready for the day. At Academy of Whole Learning, we offer on-site occupational therapy, physical therapy, and speech therapy. For many years, we have partnered with Capernaum, a pediatric therapy clinic in the Twin Cities. The same Capernaum therapists meet individually with our students during the course of the school day. Many families appreciate that they do not have to bring their child to another appointment after school. Also, the Capernaum therapists and our teachers have great communication. So what is being worked on in therapy is shared with our teachers, and our teachers can share some areas of need with the therapists. As part of our holistic approach, we also offer therapy services through our internal behavior clinic. Those services include psychotherapy, intense behavior intervention, testing and assessment, and support groups. And although we do have registered behavior therapists within our classrooms, some of our students may need more intense behavior interventions. That's where the clinic comes in. Beyond our own students, though, we accept outside clients to utilize these services. These images show our behavior therapy work area for our students and clients. Our students have an opportunity each week to receive behavior, self-regulation, social, and gross motor skills through guided rotations in this area. Our Learning Commons is a great resource area. Students have an opportunity to come in here weekly to check out books. Also, many times, Teachers will utilize the room for various activities outside the classroom. Many of our before and after school activities and clubs also take place in this learning commons. You'll notice on the right side of the photo are 3D printers. Many of our students are very interested in science and technology. Through some grant dollars, we have been able to introduce students to amazing technology like 3D printing, robotics, virtual reality, and coding. In order to give our students real-life experiences, we provide community-based learning. We feel that our students can be successful displaying their skills to our staff and classmates, but exposing them to the outside experiences truly helps them prepare. Our 14-passenger bus allows us to bring classrooms on field trips and these community experiences. Thank you for taking the time to view this narrated picture tour of Academy of Whole Learning. If you have any questions or would like an actual tour of our facility in the future, please don't hesitate to reach out via email or my phone number provided here. If you are interested in applying for your child to attend Academy of Whole Learning, application forms can be found on our website under the Admissions tab. With these forms, we also ask for a most recent IEP and evaluation for your child. Academy of Whole Learning is truly a school like no other. We appreciate you considering us for your child's education.